so I just reached uh, JBR and uh, it doesn't look like uh, there's any COVID that's happening over here. Everyone looks like they're chilling. The beach is crowded. Uh, a lot of people doing everything. I can just show you around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in, yeah, flex. I just want to win. Now that I moved to Dubai in the past couple of months, uh, uh, I was trying to get used to the place and the culture and the people. So I've been exploring a couple of things, obviously off camera and understanding how it is. But now since I have settled in pretty well, uh, I'll be taking you guys along with uh, me and most of the places I'll be going and exploring. It'll be my first time as well. Uh, to cut to the chase, uh, life in Dubai has been amazing. I've been, I've been having fun in terms of uh, obviously gym and footy, that's football and uh, uh, going to new places, meeting new people, the culture, it's, it's, it's just a whole different experience. So let me quickly take you through my room, the space that I live in and I live in uh, Dubai Marina, uh, close to the Marina Walk if you guys have heard of. So this is the view that's there from my room, that is uh, the Sheikh Zayed Road and you got the metro and the golf course right there. This is a view that I wake up to see every morning. Obviously, I'm bunking with my roommate and these are our beds. This is our place where we have lunch and everything. We got fridge, we got everything. It's more like a semi-furnished thing. We got our own TV. <laughs> Actually, everything comes with the room, but since I already had a TV, we, uh, you, we are using this. We got a surround sound, which we hardly touch. This is a kitchen that uh, all my flatmates use. It's a common kitchen. We got a dining table here different rooms so to give you a quick idea of what is happening in Dubai because of the COVID situation here uh, we were until we were in lockdown from March until uh, recently last week where uh, the government had taken steps of uh, sending 30 30 percent of workforce to the office and the metros were stopped and uh, then last week it was 50 percent back to office and now it's 100 percent so everyone's back in office. There are no more uh, restrictions in terms of moving around Dubai. Yes, there is a lockdown from 11 to 6 a.m. That is called the sanitization time. But apart from that, uh, everything is open here. They have taken all the COVID uh, uh, rules and regulations that are supposed to be taken, like social distancing, wearing a mask all the time, and uh, even in metros and trams. Uh, before we had to use Dubai government app to apply for a move permit which you go online and put in the details and why you want to move around usually the three things are uh, grocery pharmacy and emergency cases and today I'm going to JBR which is actually Jumeirah Beach residency well, I'm JBR and uh, it doesn't look like uh, there's any COVID that's happening over here. Everyone looks like they're chilling. The beach is crowded. Uh, a lot of people doing everything. I can just show you around. I mean, look, there are people here. There you can do your beach activities. It's insane. People are just chilling. So that is where it is. 
over there we got all the restaurants and all that over there so i'm just chilling look like dubai is back to normal but uh, we got to stay safe everyone's out and about it's pretty hot <laughs> well, yeah the party is on i mean look don't get me wrong dubai is doing everything they can do to protect their uh, residents and citizens actually uae is made up of majority of foreigners more of expats and they've actually taken good care of us and at the moment i already saw a couple of fines that were issued by the dubai police for not wearing these masks and not social distancing so even though everything's open and everything's going fine trust me dubai is doing everything in their power to keep us safe and we just need to keep ourselves safe as well so yeah so right now i'm at shake shack and uh, i'm trying out their shake burger which is one of the best burgers here and uh, let's see how it is this is how it looks it's back in this way and uh, well i didn't want to end the video without telling you how good it was cuz it is absolutely amazing uh the beef is just tender and nice it's got some nice mayonnaise and the secret sauce it's got some uh lettuce as well it is amazing uh yesterday i had even five guys burger i think i'll review that later on very soon but i think five guys going to beat shake shack but this is nonetheless in my top five as well stay tuned lot more videos coming up i'm going to give you inside insights to how to get your driving license or um, moving around jobs i have a lot of videos planned and um, yeah so for this video this is it i hope you guys uh, enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like share and subscribe so i will see you in the next video until then bye bye